Go away! Just go away! <laughs> What is going on guys? I hope you're having a really good day. Yeah, you know what? I am excited. Let me tell you why. So I have just released a video for the new guppy tank. The fish are in. They're doing absolutely brilliantly. Look, absolutely loving life. Stop saying absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, the plants have all now settled in. They're already starting to grow, which is absolutely insane. I wasn't expecting that to happen so quickly, but I guess, you know, they just love a perfect tank. The guppies seem to be settled right in. Especially, like everyone said, this Moscow one, I think they call it a Moscow white snow, I don't know what they're called. I'm not a guppy expert. They're settled in. He's, he's, he's the one you look to straight away. But there, look at, there we go. There's that snake skin. There's that snake skin. Look at him. Am I still following him? Yeah, there he is. He's looking great. So I cannot wait to hopefully get some babies out of him. Hello, my handsome little guys. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get it, get it. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, these guys are still so awesome. They're just like little water puppies. Look, look, Ember is not bossy at all anymore. They all get along great. He doesn't push them around. He was to start with, uh, but but he's really calmed down and they are properly an Orantu crew. They are the crew. They're loving it. They, they don't fight. Brilliant. That's the good thing about goldfish, guys. You don't get any problems with them. It's They're just, well, obviously I did with one of them, but you know, I mean, what I mean in terms of behavior, they're just absolutely fantastic. They're like always happy little puppy dogs and I absolutely love them. And then moving on next to them guys over to Pancho's tank. This is getting ridiculous, isn't it? Now, as much as I absolutely love this up here and look at these pretty little plants just growing out everywhere. Like they look absolutely stunning. As much as I love these, I'm gonna have to cut that back. I mean, this one here, for instance, is looking it's huge, it's taken over. And what I don't want to happen is the moss that's growing underneath beautifully. I don't want that to die off. So I'm going to have to, I don't even know, was I pointing in the right place? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to trim some of that back, which is annoying because I love the fact that it's growing completely naturally. I didn't plant any of that. That's all grown out of just the moss. So there was obviously seeds in there that have just germinated and just gone all over the tank. But back to the main subject of this video, guys. The no filter tank, it's been ages since I set up a no filter tank, apart from the bowl, but I'm not counting that because it's a bowl, it's too small really for anything considerable. Plus it looks weird. <laughs> but it's been ages since I set up a no filter tank. The last no filter tank I did was the Free Stones Aquascape. I'll leave a link somewhere. That was amazing, a massive success. Probably the purest looking planted tank I've ever done, if I'm honest, and no maintenance ever. In fact, not enough trimming. It was crazy. Anyway, I'm looking to do something like that again, but way more controlled this time. And what I wanted to do is I'm going to do it in this tank here. I'm going to take this light off because it's not good enough. I don't, well, it is good enough, but I want something a little bit more powerful and RGB. It will work, don't get me wrong. And it will make greens really green, but I just want to add a little bit more color again. Ever since now I've done this tank with all that color, I'm really feeling the colorful tanks at the moment. So I'll get this one down, get it out of the way, get this one with this rgb light that we're using not on that tank keeping that one perfect this one's going to be rescaped soon anyway because look it's like what so i'm going to take this light from it and that is going to then go on this tank here Right, okay, that's looking fantastic. So the reason I took off that one there from the top, because I just want this to be a really nice standalone piece. And I think having two jammed up there will detract from how good it's going to be. And it's going to be good, guys. So yeah, we've got the main piece at the top. You know, we've got a couple of tanks below that. And then the bottom here is where I'm going to be doing loads of sort of wabby coosers and that sort of thing. And then just like possibly like a quarantine tank or something like that. Because I've never had a quarantine tank before. Oh, great. Here come the helicopters. Go away! Just go away! <laughs> so this is a little wasteland area behind my house. I'm quite often coming behind here to dig up earthworms for Pancho to eat. So I've got a few little spots I can get some soil from easily. If you're gonna get soil yourself from the garden, make sure it's from somewhere that hasn't got pesticides and things like that. And make sure you take the stuff that's just below the top soil. It's then just a case of pushing a saw through a sieve. Try not to use one from your kitchen like I am. And as always, don't tell my wife. No, legit, this time she would actually kill me for pushing soil through it. She can just about tolerate sand. Right, so that's all of the soil prepared. And the sand that I actually want to use is in here. <laughs> I saved it from previous setup Lego. Look, underneath there, it's all good. 
there's some grime in that in it so I just need to put it through a little sieve again put this through it in some water so that all the clean stuff falls through and we can put that into the tank right so we have our soil and we have our sand let's get those in the tank first of all there's actually a really really good way of doing it so that it doesn't mess up and look horrible because obviously that brown soil there is going to look ugly if you see it from the outside so just make a perimeter with the sand first and then we can put the soil in the middle section and then we can cover that back up with sand again so nice and simple at this point guys you don't have to make it complicated as i said just pour it in push it to the edges and then get your soil in the middle. Just be careful when you're pouring the soil in that you keep it contained into that middle section. The last thing we want is it leaching into the water column because that'll cause all kinds of algae issues and that's just going to cause you to break the tank down eventually. Right guys, there's the soil in. Now you might be tempted to add more soil thinking that you'll get better growth and I've said this before, do not do that. Stick to like a thin layer that you, you cannot believe how much nutritional value or, nu or nutrients there are it's not food <laughs> how many nutrients there are in that little bit of soil there cover it up the roots will find it and you know the plants are going to go absolutely nuts i'll tell you what this little reflection of the river tank is quite cool isn't it like kind of looks like i've already planted it there we go Look, oh perfect and we're done <laughs> right so i just need to cover it up now with another layer of sand a nice a nice decent thick layer on top banked up to the back as usual and then we've got our base to start and then after that, I can open up all of these parcels because I've got loads of hardscape. That is our base layer sorted. Pretty standard, but it works really, really well. So you can now build on top of this with your hardscape. And for that, I've just received delivery of a load of hardscape from Aquarium Gardens. There's a link in the description, guys, if you guys are interested in hardscape. They've got amazing selection. They sell plants as well. The channel sponsor, absolutely brilliant shop as well. They've got display, blah, blah, blah. Go check them out. Okay, so we've got one, uh, two, two decent sized boxes, three, well, can't I count them? <laughs> just moved them, three boxes. And I've got me old blade with me, so let's get into them. Okay, okay, granted, I'm not the most eloquent of unboxers, am I? But I like to do it properly, and sometimes it's a pain. Right, what have we got in here? Ooh, ooh, lots of little manzanita twigs. Looking good, looking good. I do a lot with those. We've got loads of spiderwood branches, awesome. And another pack as well. Again, lots of lots more spiderwood, but in, in pieces as well. And then, I think this is like... Riverwood? Um, or spiderwood as well actually I think just like thicker selection so we've got loads of different types of the spiderwood there little bits of detail that we can use for all different sorts of things box number two this is heavy so ah lots of different rocks so we've got a ton of dragon stone in that one and it looks like this one is uh, like a wood rock like a fossilized wood rock that looks good awesome do something with those and then this one looks like Ah, this I think is the grey Sirius stone, that looks awesome and to be honest, this is going to go really well for the new No Filter Aquarium. And I've got some fantastic mo moves start again i've got some fantastic news on the newt front guys so this is my newt tank or newt paludarium that was going to be for newts that i don't have so just after i made this the uh, the pandemic hit and obviously i couldn't find anything go out to get anything but i think fingers crossed i've managed to source something online that can be sent to me it's the exact one i wanted as well two possibly oh i'm gonna see how it goes i'm not gonna say anything yet because nothing's confirmed but hopefully within the coming weeks i should be able to get the first newts in but what i am gonna to have to do is sort out some of that moss because some of it is rotting i i picked some stuff that had too much organic matter on the bottom and as a result some of the moss there is like got like a, a sort of brownie tinge to it um, and then some of it is absolutely perfect so it just goes to show that 
win some, you lose some, right? But that's fine, I can take out the bad stuff and then use the good stuff to sort of spread over to it. It doesn't take long for this kind of moss just to go all the way through. So hopefully within another few weeks time, by the time that the actual newts arrive in the post, it'll all be looking perfect. So we've got a great selection there. Now, I am gonna be saving the wood for different skates because the point in that is that I just want very minimal hard skate. When you're doing a no filter tank, the key thing is the plants. The plants are important, more important than the hard skate. I mean, you could almost say it's like a Dutch style. The plants are the filter at the end of the day. So you need as many in as possible. Stem plants everywhere, you know, as healthy as possible. You just want to keep it very minimal. That's what I did on my previous one, the Free Stones Aquascape. And that's what I want to do on this one. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to use Free Stones again. But last time it was the pebbly style, cobbly ones. This time I'm going to use that black cereal stone. And that should look absolutely fantastic. Always a good idea to do things in freeze, especially in a tank only this size. Let's get those stones in. Okay, that is crazy simple, guys, but that is deliberate. But it's quite sort of punchy, isn't it? It's kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me of like the mountains in Lord of the Rings or something like that. Let me take you in on a closer look. So from that angle, it's quite sharp. And as you come round, you're slightly off center, which is deliberate. We've got loads of room on this side here for planting, loads of room at the back for planting and loads of room in the foreground for planting. So that is why I've done it in that way. So we've just got planting all round. That's the key. Make sure you can plant lots. Let's use up those nutrients that we've just put into that sand. Right, once again, this has actually gone even better than I thought it was gonna be. So in the next video, we're gonna be planting the whole thing. I'm actually waiting for a Tropica delivery to come tomorrow. Hopefully it comes in time. If it doesn't, I won't release this video. Yes, I will, and then there'll be a gap because I'm not gonna plant without plants. I've got some, <laughs> I'm not gonna plant without plants, obviously. Okay, so I've got some new stuff coming. I've got new plants that I've never had before. So that's gonna be really interesting to put into this tank, along with some classics as well, stuff that I know works really well on no filter setups, but some new stuff as well. That's gonna be the key. It's always exciting getting new plants and knowing if they're gonna work with your water, your water. I've got pretty good water, guys, but some plants do still struggle for me. I'm sure you guys have all got those certain plants that you put in your tank and it hasn't worked at all. Rip them out, don't put them in there again. <laughs> I know it's quite defeatist, but what's the point messing around with something that isn't working? Move on, get some different plants. And as usual, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Click the like, click the subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.